Well, hello, my lovelies. It's Murky Meg here. It's Wednesday, the 20th of April, and I'm actually taking a extended break from YouTube right now and all social media, to be perfectly honest, because my deteriorating health has gotten to the point where I can't, on some days, put one foot in front of the other. My brain is extremely foggy with the level of painkillers that I'm on, and it's a particularly crap time right now. I will say one thing, if you've tried to contact me via email or my socials or, or WhatsApp or, or whatever, I'm not I'm not responding to anybody, but that's, that's exactly how my mental state is right now. I, 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 I'm physically not able to do that mentally. However, I've just popped on because I am enraged. And, and if I don't get this out, I'm going to sit there fizzing and it's going to eat me away. That's how angry I am. Obviously, Meghan and Harry are doing their thing at the moment They're in Europe. And they had, remember this, a 15-minute visit with the Queen. It seems that he's gone on to US TV saying that he is making sure the Queen is protected. Yes, Harry, the grandson, the one that's always been by her side, is protecting her. Yes, I know, that's sarcasm. How could it not be from me? But Harry, speaking to the Today Show about meeting the Queen, said, Being with her was great. It was just so nice to see her. She's on great form. She's always got a great sense of humour with me. And I'm just making sure she's protected and got the right people around her. Both Megan and I had tea with her, so it was really nice to catch up with her. First things first, Harry. The Queen has always had a sense of humour. Not just with you, mate. It's with everybody. She is well known for her sharp, witted humour. So let's get that one out of the way, shall we? It's not just with you, mate. You are not the only one that sees her humour. And more importantly, what on earth are you protecting her from? How can you protect her? You have been absent in her most vulnerable time, yet you don't see that. This is a PR exercise, plain and simple. It's because Netflix has been following them around like a little lapdog, and this is exactly why he's doing it. He's speaking about the Queen. He spent 15 minutes with her, yet he feels that it's okay to mention her, drop her name, the biggest clout chaser of them all. And I I hate that term. I really, really do. But it is perfectly fitting for this has been Prince. I'm sorry if that sounds particularly brutal, but I am incensed with this. He wasn't there at the memorial service, yet literally days after flies out to see the Queen for 15 minutes and goes on to his next endeavours and yet has the audacity to go on U.S television and say spill the beans about what was said but the audacity to say that you are protecting her sunshine is completely bang out of order you failed to support her in her most vulnerable and mourning state you stayed away you literally flew in for the funeral and flew out and as for saying that you couldn't come to the memorial service because of security issues well you've just proven yourself to be a complete and utter liar. You came to visit the Queen and you couldn't actually be bothered to turn up a week or so earlier because of your grandfather's memorial service. Utter shame of you. Utter, utter shame of you. Is it Harry's job to protect the Queen? I mean, she's 95 years old. I don't think that she needs anybody to protect her, especially not you. She has the whole system around her to support her, to protect her. Not you. Don't get me wrong, I'm not stupid. I know exactly who he's talking about. He's talking about Prince Andrew. But let's face it, Harry. We may not have liked Andrew escorting the Queen at the memorial service but where were you you weren't there so move along stop using the queen for your pr exercise and clicks and likes and viewing and netflix stop it stop it stop it stop it and this is exactly what this is it's another connection to the royal family that he so desperately needs for that gold netflix deal he needs to be seen to be in with the royal family because let's face it that's exactly why they have that netflix deal because of their connections because of who they are they needed to get their foot in the door as for them being on the balcony i'm so enraged with that if it happens i am i will be disgusted Disgusted, disgusted, disgusted. Because he can't stop mentioning his family. And it's becoming a problem. 
This is a man who's so adamant about his own privacy, yet willfully just talks about everybody else, as if they don't have a right to their privacy. This is the Queen of England, Harry. Your grandmother. You shouldn't be talking about her. It was a 15-minute visit. Couldn't even grant her more than that. That, to me, speaks volumes. And let's not forget, this is a family he's painted as racist and uncaring. He made a barbed comment about Charles's way that he brought Harry and William up, and also added on that it's the way that Charles was raised. So yes, he's taken a barbed swipe at the Queen with regards to that interview that he did. He has painted this family in such a negative light, and yet we still have the memoir book to come out, which I'm told is going to be hugely disrespectful to Camilla. The issue is that this is only a soundbite from the Today interview. There's more to come. What more is this man going to say? It's extremely clear that they only went to see the Queen because they needed to be there when the celebrations start. It was cementing their place at the Jubilee. This is just all that it is. It's playing a game for Harry. Oh, well, we haven't got quite in with the royal family yet because of what we've done. Should we just start? Should we just maybe, maybe, maybe just spend 15 minutes just to make sure that we get that golden ticket to the Jubilee celebrations? Now, I'm no fan of Andrew. I know this is exactly where Harry is aiming his hatred towards, the, the, the veiled protection jibe. I understand that, but at least he's been there for the Queen. I don't like the man, I don't like what he's done, but at least he's actually been there and seems to have been some comfort to her. Harry, you haven't, sunshine. Not at all. And this is clearly just a PR exercise. Plain and simple. And it's enraged me so much. You know what the best protection you could give the Queen? Stop talking about your private meetings. Stop publicly announcing what was said and what was done. Stop it. And for those of you, and there are many people out there on social media going, he's just been a good grandson. No, he's not. If he was a good grandson, he would have been there for her. He would have shown up at the memorial and not whined on about security, using that as the reason why he couldn't be there. Yet just literally showing that he's coming to England and then flown out again. You've just buggered your court case, mate. Absolutely buggered it. And then running straight to the media. Oh, I met the Queen, I met the Queen. Oh, 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 No, Harry, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Be a good grandson and zip it. I'd like to know what he means by protecting. I really, really would, because my view of protecting obviously differs greatly to his. Protecting is being by their side, listening to them, caring for them, making sure they're okay. Not just popping in for a 15-minute visit and then stomping your feet everywhere. Well, that's me paraphrasing, of course. That didn't happen. Or did it? So I would love to know your thoughts on this. I will say that I'm going to be very sporadic at the moment because of my health issues. I will try and put up videos whenever I can, but it is dependent on me health-wise, basically. So I would love to know your thoughts on the whole he's protecting his grandmother. He's protecting the Queen of England. What would you say to Harry if you met him on the street after you heard that he was saying that he wants to protect the Queen? Do you think he has a right to say that? Why did he so publicly say it? Do you think it's a PR exercise? Do you think it's them getting their foot in the door ready for the Jubilee celebrations? Because we know it's going to be on Netflix. They may not be allowed the cameras in Buckingham Palace and behind closed doors, but that doesn't mean they won't cover it and then paint themselves to be the martyrs that saved the Jubilee. We know it's coming, people, don't we? As always, I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.